G'day everyone, I'm speaking to you all from my office down here in Melbourne and I wanted to take this time to share with you what it is and what it means to create coping mechanisms in your life. Now, for those who have already heard me speak, you would have heard me touch on coping mechanisms and I've shared with you a real basis as to what they are and how they affect my life. Now, coping mechanisms is something that I had learnt through working with my psychiatrist and what he taught me was essentially being about creating responsibility around your mental health and I think that there's a, coping mechanisms is a great way to stay in control of your anxiety and your stress and perhaps any of those other challenges that you may be facing and essentially coping mechanisms are this. They're things and hobbies or participating in events that you personally love, three different events weekly that keep you happy, um, keep you focused, help create clarity in your life, whatever it may be. So to give you an example, as some of you may already know, but for those who don't, three things that I do every single week. Now nothing can get in the way of these three things, not one thing, work can wait. If work can't wait, then you make sure you do these things early in the morning or when you get home after work. Nothing gets in the way of it. So the three things I do is the first one is the beach. I'm very, I'm very blessed to live where I live in Port Melbourne and I have to go down and I dedicate two hours a week to going down and put my feet in the sand. Now what that does for me, it just makes me escape my work life and because I do at times get stressed and I need to go away and declutter. So by doing that it allows me just to kind of relax, take my time to think about everything and just really get my clarity again about everything that's going on in my life. So that's a really important aspect. The second one is music. Now music for me, as once again a lot of you have heard and I speak about it all the time and for those who follow me on social media and, and my Instagram and, and, um, and Snapchat, you'll always hear music going on or something that I'm speaking about it and for me that's my meditation. You know, Some of us out there struggle to, to relax and, and I guess just stop this chatter up here and for me uh, music allows me to, it's my form of meditation. So I, I dedicate almost an hour, two hours a day sometimes to listening to music, playing music or singing it really, really badly. Um, but it just helps me relax and just reminds me you know, that I can be happy more often than not. So second thing is music. The third thing that I focus on every week is family. Now I spent a lot of time through my life over that four years of really escaping being around people. Um, I, I felt like I, I needed to be isolated and I, and I didn't want to be talking to people or be around anyone and part of that meant that I lost a lot of connection with my family and, and now that I'm in a better place and I've got more sh um, structure and strategy in my life, I, I now dedicate Every Friday, if not Friday, 100% on the Saturday morning, I go home to the farm. Now I spend time with mum and dad, I spend time with my brothers and my sister-in-laws and I hang out with my nieces and my nephews and it just gives me a strong grounding and that's something that I will never ever stop doing. It's something that nothing will ever get in the way of me going home and spend time with my family. So. They're my coping mechanisms, they're my strategies that I do every single week to stay in control of my happiness. Now, I, there's been times that I have actually done all three of those things and I still get caught up with stress and anxiety. So the next level is about being aware. Okay, so if you're still doing all these things and you're still feeling anxiety and stress and you, you don't want to be around people, what I do is that I highlight one of those three things. So I'll spend more time at the beach. Instead of two hours, I'll spend three hours. Music, instead of one, two hours a day, I'll actually spend more, three or four a day sometimes. Or I'll just go home and I'll try and write music. I'll pick the guitar up for an extra half an hour. Or I'll go home and spend more time, an extra day a week with the family. And what that does is it just, once again, it just helps me declutter and just really relax and focus again on why I do what I do and the passions that I have in life. Now, the next step, on that is, you know, if you are still struggling and you do feel like you need to speak to someone, please guys put your hand up, become accountable and go and speak to mum and dad or a brother or sister or even your coach, netball football coach or someone that you trust, even myself, you know, reach out through the app that we've got 
or my email address or even on Facebook, whatever it may be. Um, and please just come and speak to someone that you guys can rely on and just say, you know what, I'm, I feel like I'm struggling at the moment, I need some support. But I want to share with you what coping mechanisms are. Um, so go away now and I want you all to implement three things in your life that you can dedicate time towards that makes you happy. Now if you're not sure what that is right now, then just figure out the things that you love and just go towards that. Give, us some, give you some examples of people who I know who I work with complete on a weekly basis. Things like walking the going and taking the dog for a walk, things like going out for coffee with a friend, things like going to the gym an hour a day. There's a wide range of different things that you can do that actually help you release the stress and just calm and relax and settle yourself into a little bit more focus. In the meantime, if you want any more advice or any more help, please reach out, contact me and I'd be more than happy to help out. But Stay tuned because I'll be sharing a few more hints and tips around some stuff that I do but also watch out for the upcoming interviews that I've got uh, with some celebrities and athletes and musicians over the next couple of months. So all the best guys and I'll speak to you soon.